All right, today's video, we're going to talk about a couple nutrients that can help your kidney health. We're going to go through a little research. If you want to know more about me, uh, why I'm so passionate about kidney disease, take a look at my channel, website. So let's get into some good stuff to help your kidneys. All right, first piece of research, uh, Journal of Nutrients, April 2023. Renal protective roles of lipoic acid and kidney disease. We're talking about alpha lipoic acid, a potent supplement, antioxidant. Your body makes a little bit of it, so we like to take things that are natural to the body. Uh, alpha lipoic acid is a lot of good things. Now, uh, here they talk about where it could really be beneficial. We have diabetic nephropathy, sepsis-induced kidney injury, renal ischemic injury, obstructions, uh, kidney injuries from metals such as cisplatin, cadmium, and, and iron, if you go toxic on iron. So alpha lipoic acid, really good. If you're going to take it, 600 milligrams at least once a day. I would do twice a day. All right, we have other videos that talk about ALA, alpha lipoic acid. So take a look at those if you're really interested, but a really good, safe, Excellent supplement to use for your kidney health. All right, next up, uh, Journal of Cells. Okay, this is March 8th, 2023. Melatonin treatment in kidney disease. The administration of melatonin has a renal protective effect and inhibits the progression of complications connected to renal failure. Uh, it was generally well tolerated, low side effects. Melatonin is excellent. There's a lot of sleep problems that come along with kidney disease. Melatonin can help that. It's a really good reason to use it. Um, Generally, when you have kidney disease, your antioxidant systems are going to be low, so melatonin replaces those. Three to six milligrams per day of melatonin you can try. You can go higher, you could even go lower. Generally, you start around that three milligram area. If you take three milligrams, it gets you to sleep, but you wake up groggy, tired, you've got to reduce the dose. Maybe you do two milligrams or one and a half. Okay? Uh, if you take three milligrams, it doesn't do anything, you go up to six. You can go to five. You can go to nine. You can go to about nine milligrams very, very safely. Melatonin is really safe. You'll see really high doses up to 20, 30 milligrams online. Um, you can use those. Some people do, you know, but generally most people do okay with that three, six, five, nine milligram range of melatonin every day. All right, so next up, Journal of Microbiome, January 2023. More information about that kidney gut access. You hear me talk about this a lot. It's a, it's a big, big emerging field that shows if you take prebiotics and probiotics with kidney health, you're going to benefit your kidney health. You're going to be in a better place overall. So perturbed gut microbiome and fecal and serum metabolomes are associated with chronic kidney disease severity. Okay, so you have kidney disease, your gut's going to be off. It's going to be all types of toxins, bad stuff going on there. All right, when you take probiotics and prebiotics, cleans it up, gets rid of those, reverses it, improves it. So take them. It's really, really good for you. The conclusion of this piece of research is the conclusion. Perturbed CKD severity related gut microbiota may contribute to unbalanced toxic and pro metabolism in the gut and host, accelerating CKD progression. Accelerating it. You're speeding it up. Which may be an early diagnostic therapeutic target for CKD. All right, you got kidney disease. Take probiotics. We got a lot of videos on them. Okay, really, really good for you. Prebiotics also. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. To your best kidney health, check out our videos. Make sure to subscribe.